this is something I've given a lot of thought to, this idea of creating a stronger connection with any individual. And I, I came to the conclusion that it's futile. It's, it's pointless. It does not work. Simply by watching people try that, watching myself try that, and having it completely generate the opposite result. And one of the reasons that it generates the opposite result is that when you try to improve a connection with one specific individual, whether it's a friend, a relative, a lover, what you're doing is you're, you're coming at it from a place of neediness. You're coming at it from a place of attachment. You're basically saying that my relationship to life depends on my relationship to this person. And that is kind of a gimpy way of coming at it. It's a, it's a way of connecting that does not work because it's just so riddled with fear. It's so riddled with attachment. It's totally out of alignment with abundance and it resonates very deeply with scarcity. Instead of focusing on trying to improve your relationship with any individual, which is basically trying to use force to transform it, if you could take a step back and say, this individual is simply part of my reality. It's part of the simulated universe. And so my relationship with this person is subjected to my larger relationship with this entire reality. And instead of trying to transform that relationship on an individual basis, work on transforming your relationship with reality as a whole, with all the relationships in your life, and pull back and develop a sense of abundance overall. Even if I have a wife or a girlfriend, you know, or both, <laughs> I, I don't give myself permission to get attached to individual relationships because I see that that puts me in a state of neediness and clinginess, and then I'm trying to get my needs met from that person. In other words, I'm doing... I'm looking to the simulator to validate my feelings instead of creating the feelings and allowing the simulator to catch up and match where I am. And so instead what I do is I create a feeling of abundance in terms of relationships in general. And I simply see the other person as a simulated entity in a way. And so I say, whether this relationship develops more closeness and deepening, I will welcome that. Or if it totally shifts away and we become more distant and a new, even better match comes up for me, I will welcome that as well. And so I simply allow myself to receive from anywhere. And this is not just about relationships. This is about finances and career development too. You get attached to a, you know, a certain relationship with your boss. You get attached to a certain, certain um, form of income, like your job. Then all you're doing is coming at, at this from a place of neediness and you're corrupting your relationship with life itself. And I found major transformations all across the board in my life, relationships, finances, and so on, by instead developing a sense of abundance with life itself and then just allowing it to bring me the goodness wherever it would show up. And so now I, I've seen this process play out so many times, I just hold myself in the space of knowing that I'm going to receive from the world what's a match for who I am on the inside. And I'm not particularly attached, whether that shows up through my wife, through my girlfriend, through this particular person over here, through my mom. And when I do that, then what happens is a connection shows up that's even better than what I would have possibly gotten by transforming some individual level relationship. In other words, if you work at that level, you're working at just too low a level. You're not seeing the forest for the trees. Okay? You're, you're, um, you're killing the goose that lays the golden eggs. Okay? You're saying, I, oh, there's eggs. Let's take all these eggs and push this goose to lay more eggs, and then you kill the goose. No more eggs after that. Okay, you're just working on the problem at the, long, at the wrong level, a level where it cannot be solved. Okay, the reason these, these relationships are showing up in your life that aren't where you want them to be is because you're not ready to receive them. Okay, you're not ready to receive that truly loving connection with a parental type of figure, whether it's your mom or anyone else. So transform your relationship at the higher level. Okay, find something you appreciate about all your relationships, and you'll find just avalanches of abundance coming through. And, you know, it shows up in income, for instance, in the form of multiple streams of income, all different directions. When one dries up, another one comes into play. When that one dries up, a new one comes into play. When re one relationship dries up, another one is even better, even more loving, even more flowing shows up and comes into play. And so as you experience this, and I encourage you just to lean into this idea and test it a little bit. You know, my, my role here is not to coach you to do this, not to push you to do this, but to plant a virus in your mind that acts like a splinter in your brain where you can't let go of it. And you start thinking, what if this is true? And then that allows you to lean into it a little bit more and, and test it for yourself and see what happens. And I'll tell you, I can tell you what's on the other side, just happiness and abundance and joy. But it, you create that from within first.